Hey guys, I'm Janet, on occasion, and today we're playing the Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. As you can see, I've got Boris Toddbringer here. He's leading a, uh, a very artillery-heavy Empire build against the Lizardmen. So, um, with all this artillery, you can see I have two great cannons, uh, which is, you know, quite a lot already. But um, no, I also have a Hellblast volley gun, which, you know, should be able to take out the armoured infantry more. Uh, these are more for single model targets, you know, um, or things like Crocs or Gauls and stuff like that. But I also have the Luminarch of Hish, just so I can do mad damage to one very scary thing. And uh, I want to kind of have this targeting something different to the Great Cannons, because whatever this is targeting, they're going to be trying to bob and weave with a lot um, to try and avoid the fire. Whereas these ones, uh, they're going to go a bit more unnoticed. So, yeah, the damage should mount with the cannons a lot more. So it should be interesting. Um, also, have a Light Wizard. I want to be able to use Fire's Protection to be able to make sure my melee defense is nice and high in the front line because all my troops are very cheap. So, although I've got quite a lot of troops, should be able to delay stuff a lot just from the numbers, they're going to get cleaved to pieces um, by pretty much anything in the Lizardman roster. Um, so, I need to make sure that they can hold the line for long enough for all my cannons to kill stuff. So, it should be a lot of fun. I also have two Knights of the Blazing Sun. Knights of the Blazing Sun, really nice and quick. Um, so, pretty handy. They can run away from other dinosaurs and I should be able to get a nice lot of uh, sort of rear charges and things. If he goes big with sort of skinks, uh, big sort of skink cohorts and things, uh, these guys can basically wipe out a unit on the charge. Uh, they're really capable. So it should be pretty cool. So um, yeah, it should be fun. So my opponent here, you see he's got a couple of chameleon skinks that um, I think my Hellblaster volley gun is about to take some pot shots at. And back here you can see he's got Saurus spears on either side, so that's going to be really tough for my Knights of the Blazing Sun. Uh, these guys will do very well against things like that. He's also got a couple of feral cold ones, although they're not great, they will be enough to wipe out an artillery crew. So I need to kill these guys early, really. But a couple of cannon shots and these guys will rampage and charge straight into my lines. So that's what I'm hoping to do there. Over here, he's got Saurus Old Blood. He's going to be my first target for my Luminarch. Though, actually, probably should have gone with the Skink Priest of Heavens. Because you can basically kill him in one or two hits. So, um, probably probably a nice target. Um, a little harder to hit, but they don't tend to run their wizards around too much. So, he won't be a moving target for the most part. So, yeah, probably should have aimed for him nice and early. But um, i take a while to do that. Anyway, Croxagors. Um, so, these guys will just smash great swords to pieces. But, of course, they're very vulnerable to things like handgunners and artillery. So, um, you know, a bit of a risk. But they can really help smash that front line um, if the Empire does that. So he's also got a Bastilladon with Solar Engine, so he's got a bit of his own artillery. Again, really helps against things like uh, Great Swords and other infantry. He can do some good damage to um, cavalry as well, which is kind of nice. He's also got Revivification Crystal to keep everything healed up. So, pretty cool army. I like this. Um, yeah, the Saurus Warriors, they're going to cleave through uh, my front line pretty happily. Um, Spearmen are not going to put up much of a fight. So, let's speed things up and see how it goes. So, uh, yeah, Chameleon Skinks, they've taken some damage from artillery, but it's not really the target that I want. Um, so here, I've already hit the Zora's Old Blood with Illuminarch, and now I'm starting to shoot the Bastilladon um, with the Revivification Crystal. Because if I can injure him, he's going to want to heal himself, so he'll be wasting charges rather than healing other stuff. So here you can see the Feral Cold Ones actually just charge straight into the Spearmen, and they do alright here, actually. So I'm going to try and get Boris to come in and chase him off, but they're already running. Um, they're already running. So over here, got a bit of an angle going, so uh, Knights of the Blazing Sun waiting, and you see I'm going to start firing into these Feral Cold Ones. And yep, that's one pretty good hit. And a couple more coming, and that's enough to rampage him. And now I'm just going to counter charge with the Knights of the Blazing Sun and wipe these guys out nice and quick. So I've got some spearmen waiting on the sides, and I'm actually pulling back my spearman because he's not willing to engage me yet, so I'm in no rush. So uh, here I do actually net the Bastilladon. I'm going to get Boris to start attacking him. I get some of my artillery to start shooting the Bastilladon so I can wipe him out nice and early. So uh, like I say, no rush to engage any of this stuff. It's my artillery that needs to kill things. If he's not going to engage me, then I don't need to bother because it's just going to make it easy for him. So here, big old wind blast does a lot of damage to my spearmen, so that's a real pity. And here you can see the Feral Cold Ones actually ran into this engagement too. I have used Fars Protection on my spearmen to keep them, you know, nice and healthy. So you see that puts their melee defense up to 74, which is pretty huge. So it's going to be quite hard to kill these guys. So very handy, very handy spell that. Makes, you know, very cheap infantry kind of doubly effective. So here, Knights of Blazing Sun, I'm going to have them charge the Chameleon Skinks, but he's going to try and uh, try and get me with the Saurus Old Blood, who does actually have Cold-Blooded proc right now. You can see, you can already see his healing cap, so he's taken a ton of damage from the Luminarch. But here, he will actually be able to chase off the Knights of the Blazing Sun pretty well. I did not get a good charge off there. Also over here, I let my other Knights of the Blazing Sun get a bit caught, which is uh, not wise. So Curse Midnight Wind to lower their armor, very wise. I get my Spearman in here to deal with those Saurus Warriors, and I'm going to go in, uh, you know, in the side here. So more artillery firing. Uh, Boris, he's fighting this stuff pretty happily. Solar Engine, still going. Um, he's trying to get into melee, I think, just so he can basically get to my artillery quicker. He's trying to punch through the lines nice and quickly. So here, another... Oh, no, that's a miss, I think. So uh, here, I'm actually going to try and net the Bastilladon. Attack him with Boris with his really high AP. 
And uh, also shoot at him point blank with the cannon. I'm also going to move the Luminarch out of there. I've sent my Je um, Light Wizard in here to try and stop the Saurus Warriors, but they're not really going to stop, and they could kill the Light Wizard. I'm just trying to delay him a bit, let my cannons get another couple shots off. So you can see Bastillodon super injured now and shattered, so that is great news for me. So now I can start shooting at something else. So here, I've actually got the Hellblaster Volley Gun firing into the Saurus Warriors here, but uh, my Luminarch is kind of in the way. I really should move him, anyway. So uh, here I'm being chased, Knights of Blazing Sun being chased by the Saurus Old Blood, who will win that fight pretty happily. But it does mean he's running in a straight line, so I'm able to get some pretty good hits with the Luminarch, so that's nice. So here, Knights of Blazing Sun that were, you know, causing some hassle in the back line, they're going to get a nice charge in here. So Files Protection on uh, this whole, whole clump, so hopefully it'll keep the cannon crew alive for a little longer as well. So Saurus Warriors have broken, cannon crews are hanging about. And, uh, unfortunately, I'm still kind of shooting into this blob with the, uh, you know, with the Hell Blaster, which I shouldn't be. I'm probably causing a lot of friendly fire here. And, uh, and that cannon as well. I just wanted to shut them down nice and quickly. So, you can see the Saurus Old Blood still, still going. And, uh, here, I've actually been firing at the Skink Priest now. So, that was one shot from the Luminarch. Almost wiped out the Skink Priest. And it seems that, actually, my Hell Blaster Volley Gun is shooting at him too. So, that's nice. So, uh, Skink Priest is out of here. And Spearmen, um, they're not going to be great against these skirmishes. They're not the shielded ones, so they're going to take a lot of damage. They're going to get killed pretty quickly, but it's keeping this stuff away from me. And uh, that's all I really want. So here, trying to deal with these spears. Another big shot, and that is one dead Skink Priest. So, like I said, should have been focusing on him earlier. Just wipe him out nice and quickly. Because, uh, you know, all the Curse of the Midnight Winds and all the rest of it. You know, I wouldn't have had to worry about it. So, it's very handy. Get rid of the Spellcaster early, especially when you can kill them in two hits. So, uh, Boris is probing right now. Uh, Knights of Blaze unchased them off, and now I'm going to try and get a nice rear charge in here. So, I've actually netted the Saurus Old Blood, and I'm going to have all my artillery start firing at him. So, uh, there we go. He's taking a hell of a lot of damage from all the cannons and Boris in here. So, you know, there are some Crocs of Gauls and some Saurus Warriors, but frankly, I can survive long enough to be able to deal with him. So, there he goes. Nice rear charge into everything there. Uh, my cannon crews did get back online, but they're being overwhelmed now. But, you know, I've still got two cannons and the Luminarch that are more than happy to keep going. So there we go, Pyrrhic victory. So yeah, it's a fun one. Um, just a silly amount of artillery there. Silly amount. So uh, not a huge amount of kills for a lot of them either. Um, obviously the Hellblaster Volley Gun, that can just chew through infantry. If you can delay infantry, it'll kill unit after unit after unit. Um, it's pretty nuts how much damage that can do to things like Saurus Warriors. Any infantry, to be honest. So it's pretty great. So I've got a Chevron from killing, you know, 126 random assorted Saurus Warriors. And I guess some Chameleon Skinks at one point. Uh, Luminarch managed to get three Chevrons. Despite only having two kills. I'm pretty sure the two kills was the... Actually, I guess it didn't... I don't think it killed the old blood. So I think that must have been, I don't know, one of these guys and the Skink Priest. I don't know. It it did well. It did well. That is a significant amount of experience gained there. So definitely worthwhile. Um, I mean, it meant that he couldn't get his Saurus old blood involved at all. Um, he was scared of getting netted by the Light Wizard and he was taking so much damage. He just couldn't really help. Um, which is really nice about having a Luminarch, you know, in action. And a uh, Light Wizard. You can just stop things from being able to fight it and it can do a lot of damage. So it's it's pretty scary stuff. Pretty scary stuff indeed. Nice the Blazing Sun. Probably could have used a little bit better. Um, but I spent most of my time just swapping targets with the cannons. Making sure they're on the right targets. You see the cannons. No chevrons for them. But they would have done a fair bit of damage. Um, I think basically all their kills was when I was trying to save for the other cannon crew, you know. Um, so, yeah, they, they did shoot at the odd bit of infantry, but generally, they were dealing with these two big heavy hitters, you know, the Bastille Dog with the Revocation Crystal, and the Bastille Dog with Solar Engine, and they really, they did the job, I mean, they did fine, and one of them was basically a big distraction, because he dedicated all of his resources to just shutting that one cannon down, because that's all he could reach, so it was pretty good, it just allowed my other ones to take advantage of that, so yeah, pretty fun, um, as you can see, Spearman basically killed nothing. Basically killed nothing. They're not they're not great <laughs> at killing this stuff. Um, but they held the line, and that's all I wanted them to do. And they did a fine job of it to let everything else get the kills. I mean, Boris, he didn't even get a lot of kills, but he was where he needed to be. Every time it looked like something was going to break through, he'd jump on top of it. You know, all the big monsters, um, you know, these guys, he helped finish them off. So really useful, really useful is Boris. And with that regeneration, you don't really need to bring a Jade Wizard. So, you know, you're free to bring the Light Wizard and have a good time. So yeah, a lot of fun. It was, uh, it was definitely a cool one. I do quite like this build against the Empire, but generally I think with the Empire, you kind of want to go wider. Um, you can go very wide as um, as the uh, Lizardman. 
And if you just got loads of skinks, they'll do well against most uh, state troops. And then you can just sort of accent it with the odd big monster that can get involved and uh, shut down dangerous things. Um, also, Gold One Knights maybe might be useful, um, you know, for being a bit more maneuverable. Um, but yeah, it's tough. It's tough to shut down the artillery. Usually you've just got to push through the front line and then get onto the artillery that way, which can make it a bit difficult, you know, when there's nets in play and there's so much artillery they can just shut down whatever manages to actually get through the lines very quickly. It's, it's tough. It's tough. Um, it's definitely a lot tougher than it used to be. It used to be that the Empire couldn't win this fight. They just couldn't. Um, it was almost impossible. You know, with two equally skilled players, the Empire would fail every time. It was it was really difficult. But now guns work, and so the Empire works now. So against, you know, big armoured targets, their big armour-piercing stuff actually works. So it's interesting. It's definitely interesting to see how it's changed um, since the last patch. So yeah, very cool. Very fun. And uh, it's nice to see Lizman again. I haven't seen Lizman in so long. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.